the latest installment of weekly shonen jump sensational new manga kagura bachi has finally peeled back the enigmatic layers surrounding chihiro's extraordinary powers particularly those intriguingly dubbed as red and black These powers which have been slowly building in prominence are beginning to take center stage much to the delight of manga's ardent fan base indeed as the latest chapter reveals chihiro's ability may prove to be even more formidable than initially hinted kagura bachi has quickly made a name for itself within the shonen genre and the manga industry as a whole capturing the hearts of readers merry weeks after its debut While the first 3 chapters provided glimpses of our tragic hero's extraordinary abilities, chapter 4 goes a step further by offering much needed exposition on the intricate power system at play and also at the inner workings of Chihiro's unique goldfish conjuring katana. Chihiro's black attack is nothing short of astonishing. It unleashes a potent surge of spiritual energy, a concentrated long distance slash of pure spiritual power. His katana enchanted with this energy serves as a conduit, magnifying and directing the life force within his body into a concentrated mass. This remarkable energy takes the form of the goldfish that swirls around Chihiro and his blade. Shiba as a essential character in chapter 4 reveals that this energy mass surpasses the capabilities of sorcerers who rely solely on external energy sources exemplified by the Daruma dolls conjured by Chihiro's adversary in this chapter with a resemblance to the iconic Getsuo Tensho used by Bleach's protagonist Ichigo this attack pays homage to its shonen predecessors in contrast red presents a unique and versatile defensive maneuver this ability empowers Chihiro not only to deflect incoming attacks with a whirlwind of spiritual energy but also to absorb and potentially take control of them Shiba's commentary in chapter 4 suggests that Red enables Shihiro to manipulate external energy sources aside from his own allowing him to redirect them the question of whether this ability extends to absorbing and replicating other techniques as fans have speculated remains open these revelations firmly establish Chihiro as an almost invincible protagonist a characteristic that often gains favor in the shonen genre furthermore it's evident that Chihiro has yet to reach his full potential the series also teases the existence distance of a third multicolored goldfish introduced in chapter 1 which unleashes havoc upon a room full of yakuza members leaving readers intrigued about its significance in relation to chihiro's powers in the grand scheme of things chihiro's quest to confront villainous hishaku and discover the enchanted blades forged by his father has only just begun kagura bachi holds the promise of more astonishing twists and revelations the manga's allure lies in its straightforward yet captivating narrative well paced storytelling and a unique unique art style that beautifully balances simplicity and intricate details fans can eagerly anticipate kagura bachi's future chapters as it seeks to live up to its burgeoning reputation and continue to surprise and captivate its audience what are your thoughts about kagura bachi chapter 4 let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below and if you enjoyed this video make sure to like this video and subscribe to my youtube channel for more videos like this and that's it and i will see you in the next one sayonara